This is tutorial number 12 of the practical and we're going to be looking at competency 12, signal report and using the S meter. We covered a great deal of this competency number 12 when we did number 11 because in number 11 I'll just see if I can scroll back to it for a second. In number 11 we actually made a call to another station and that, was, that is what we had to do in number 11. We had to make a call to another station and at the same time we gave them a signal report and, and you don't have to do that but if you do do that the assessor will realize that and when he comes to do one of the later competencies if he's found that you've already demonstrated that competency he could just tick you off and if he's not sure he'll get you to do it because number 12 is just contacting another station <coughs> excuse me and giving them a signal report let's let's have a read of the competency number 12 demonstrate how the signal strength meter is used in conjunction with a signal report so you really just need to look at the S meter and and take a signal strength reading off the S meter and we'll look at the S meters below shortly. Uh, reading the method in the middle using an amateur radio station on HF and VHF or UHF the candidate demonstrates the use of a signal strength meter. This is preferably done on air but can be done by reception of a station and the report provided to the assessor. A detailed description of the RS or RST codes is not required. Report can be accompanied by an English description such as uh, readability and strength and your audio sounds good. This task should be repeated up to three times. So basically you, you contact a station like we did in competency number 11 and before you ever make a transmission on air you do competency 10 uh, protocols prior to transmission so we established contact just like we did before uh, but when we did do this contact we also gave a signal strength a report and here's a report here you are strength 7 and your readability is good and VK4FABC gave me a report you are strength 8 and you are clear well, this is me actually uh, clear with a bit of noise. So where does the S, the strength 7 and the strength 8 come from? It comes from the S meter which is competency number 12. I've put two S meters up. This is an analog S meter because it has an arrow and the S meter has got an S marked on it. This is a digital S meter and there's the S meter there. So that number of signal strength comes from this number on the S meter while you're listening to the station. This needle will move up to three, four, five, seven. One of us was a strength seven and the other one was a strength eight. And you need to follow that with a plain English comment about how the station sounds. Your strength nine and you sound very clear. On this one, your strength five and your readability is good. That's as far as you need to go as for giving signal reports in the practical amateur radio assessment. 